Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to start your computer into safe mode that is running Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you're able to boot into Windows, great. If not, I'm going to show you guys where that part of the video picks up with you guys if you're unable to boot into Windows. So it should work for everybody assuming your computer turns on to some extent. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So assuming you're actually able to boot into Windows here, what you're going to do is right click on the Windows Start icon and you're going to select Shutdown or Sign Out. And then you see an option that says Restart. You want to hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. Again, the Shift key right underneath the Caps Lock and right above the Control key. So hold that down and then select Restart. If you're unable to boot into Windows 11, you should be prompted to automatically repair your computer. And you'll probably see a screen that's going to look very similar to what you're about to see here. So if it says preparing Windows computer and it was unable to boot, you're going to see similar options and you're going to want to go ahead to get to the screen we're about to be on here, which everybody should be able to get on. So just give it a moment here. And you're going to select underneath Choose an Option. You're going to select Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC, or See Advanced Options. Select Advanced Options again. Now you're going to go ahead and select Startup Settings, Change Windows Startup Behavior, and select Restart. All right, so at this point, I would recommend tapping the F5 key, which will enable safe malware networking. But again, this will depend on your needs. You have F4, F5, and F6 here, all of which pertain to this. So pretty straightforward, guys. I'm going to just tap F5 for the purpose of this video here. And there you go, guys. Simple as that. Do whatever you need to do in safe mode. And if you need to restart your computer once you're done, it should boot into the normal Windows operating system, assuming, again, you didn't have any sort of issue that prevented you from booting into Windows. But, you know, this is not meant to be your normal operating system here, or the normal operating environment. This is meant for troubleshooting. So we're just going to go ahead and restart our computer back to the normal Windows environment here. So, again, that's assuming once you finish everything you wanted to in safe mode. So there you go, guys. Should have been a pretty straightforward tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.